Over the last few nights, we have uh, been sharing stories from Frontier customers, really all over our region, who have been telling us that they have been going on weeks without service with no luck. And some of those viewers are seeing some change tonight. Mm -hmm. News Channel 3's Kimberly Donahue is on scene in Nicholas County, where she met with some viewers who say they're finally getting some service. When I first met with Carl and Barbara Groves on Monday, they were in the double digits of days without Frontier Landline service. Now, just two days after they spoke with me, they're seeing some progress. On Monday, this is what Carl Groves would hear when he tried to use his landline. Nothing. And down the street from his home, lines in the road. But Wednesday, Carl spotted these crews near the down lines. And an orange sign of hope greeted him at his door. Once he got settled in, he tried using his phone again. And we soon heard a familiar sound. You were without service for over a week. No, over and a week. All. What do you think got them finally moving? Well, I'd, I'd say Channel 3 at Charleston got us a moving, and a young lady come here and then interviewed us, and I thought it was that her part of putting it on TV made Frontier understand it. We're, we're not going to sit back and not talk to somebody else. This is Kim Donahue at WSAZ. I reached out to Frontier again Wednesday with news of work on Barbara and Carl's lines, but also concerns WSAZ is getting from other viewers. So far, my calls and emails have been unreturned. As for the Groves, they're savoring every minute of service. Hey, Carl. <laughs> Hello. Hey, okay. It, this makes us feel better. Makes us, you know, respect the telephone a little better and appreciate what we do have. I'm still waiting to hear back from Frontier with answers to my questions and some other viewers' concerns. I'll bring you those updates as soon as I get them. Kimberly Donahue, WSAZ News Channel 3, Nicholas County. Thank you, Kim. And this isn't just happening in Nicholas County. Kim's story in our newscast last night highlighted some issues in the East Lynn area of Wayne County. Today, she received some photos of crews working on lines there, but she hasn't heard from specific viewers just yet. We'll continue to update you on what's going on.